My reminder to you all, the ten days of Dhul Hijjah are a special time filled with blessings and rewards, bringing you closer to Allah. Imagine the weight and virtues of your righteous actions multiplying during these days. They are beloved to Allah, as proclaimed by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Take this opportunity to pray, fast, give charity, and show kindness, unlocking endless rewards. The day of Arafah is the pinnacle, a day of forgiveness and mercy. When you fast on that day, your past and future sins will be forgiven. Participate in the Eid prayer, perform the ritual sacrifice, and share blessings with others, showing devotion to Allah. Reflect on the significance, akin to the blessed nights of Ramadan. These ten days offer opportunities for spiritual growth, reflection, and supplication. Renew your intentions and seek closeness to Allah. For Hajj pilgrims, these days prepare your heart and purify your intentions through worship. Don't let these precious days slip away. Dhul Hijjah is a gift, a chance to strengthen your relationship with Allah. The best 10 days of the whole Islamic year are upon us. Starting on Tuesday, June 20th, we will begin the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Father Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحُ فِيهَا أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَيَّامِ أَوْ كَمَا قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, There are no days that the righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal than these 10 days, speaking about the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. For these 10 days, unfortunately, we don't focus on them like we focus on Ramadan. We need to have a strict regimen. We need to know what our qiyam schedule is going to look like, what our fasting schedule will be like, if you can fast all the days, what tasbih will be doing, uh, how much Quran will be able to read, can you finish a khatma during these 10 days, can you do one third of the Quran during the 10 days, whatever it may be, set a schedule for yourself and make the most of these 10 days that are most beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal. Let's make the most of it this year. Here are the top actions that you can do in Dhul Hijjah that are most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to maximize your reward. The best thing that you can do during the next nine days is to fast. If you fast on Tuesday, June 27th, your sins for the previous year and next year will be forgiven. The next deed that you can do is try to increase your non-obligatory prayers as well as reciting Quran. Try to also send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because not only will this elevate you in rank in the Akhirah but it will also make you one of the closest people to him on the Day of Judgment. Try to also maximize your dua, especially on Arafah there will be an hour to which your dua will be accepted. Also try to reach out to your family because one of the most beloved acts is that of kinship. And finally, try to give as much as possible to charity 